he, she collected it from Cross. You want to use it alone? As for Cross brought it from his house now, as Big Brother's cousin. You want to sit at the back? You came to collect it. They gave her one, though. She still came here to come and collect it. No, find my mouth, too. Fuck, I'm going to say something right now. <laughs> Silly, goofy ass bitch. We'll go home together. I promise you. Weary. It's kind of nonsense with that. As for me, that I'm using it, I don't have sense. I was even calming down, self. Don't try it. Don't even try to leave this house. Oh, man. Oh, Idiots. Cross specifically gave it to me, I, I and I've even been telling that nigga when he, he 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 had it on his bed throughout. I think Biggie especially gave it to him. Mm. My sisters in Christ, let's continue. So as Alex and Sissy were having that their altercation, um, after the video tax rehearsal, Ilebaye and Angel were having an underground beef right there. Yes, as they were seated down there, they were having an underground beef. Now, the beef is, I, I don't want to say the beef is about cross, but somehow it is about cross. And I am trying to understand why Elebaye would be having a beef or starting a beef with Angel based on cross. Okay. I'm going to get into it, but please give the video a thumbs up. If you are here as a new person, welcome to Q Ninja. Q with a capital Q and a Ninja in front of it. We do all things reality TV reviews, updates back to back, especially for BBN. So thank you so much for being here. Please share your thoughts, okay, in the comment section. We have buzz in the comment section, so please share yours and also look through to see if you will see something interesting as well. So, the story is this, okay? They were seated there for the wager task rehearsal and the whole altercation between Cece and Alex had happened and the place was still a little bit rowdy and noisy. But, apparently, this white, a bit off-white blanket that people used to cover themselves in the house because of the cold, sometimes when they are at the garden, they would also go out with it. Some people still use it in the lounge area. Cross has been using it, and I think he has been using it for like two nights now. Most of the times he uses it at night uh, or when he's lying down and all of that. Apparently, Angel had been eyeing it. You guys know that Cross and Angel are not talking in the house. I wonder how they are able to do that. But yeah, they've been avoiding talking to each other in the house. In fact, it has gotten to the point where some persons in the house has noticed it already. But it was, I think it was, was it Adekne or Perry that was even pointing it out to the rest of the housemates that he's wondering why, you know, people would be in that space and they are not talking, like how are they able to do it and all of that. So Angel had been eyeing it, but based on she's not talking to Cross, she couldn't, you know, go to him and say, Cross, you don't use entire make her use too small. Do you get, like, it, it's as small as that. But because they are not talking, if she goes there to, you know, take it from him, it will not come off as maybe something else. Maybe that's why she had decided not to go to him. So she saw a loophole, right? The thing was lying down there. She decided to use it. Elebaye was cold the while they were there seated for the rehearsal of the wager task. And she, Angel was using it. So she was like, she wants to use it. And Angel mostly like offered for them to share, but Elebaye did not want to share. She wanted it like to cover herself well, proper, proper. Do you understand? Again, she almost insinuated that Cross was the one that was using it. Angel got it. Why does she not want to give it away? And that was how Cross came in. And if Elebaye knows, or let me even give her the benefit of the doubt, that she doesn't know that Angel and Cross are not talking, which is highly, highly debatable or even in doubt. Why do you have to bring it in? So basically, Angel was like, did Cross bring it from his house? Like, is Big Brother Cross's uncle? That if Cross is using something in Big Brother's house, somebody cannot take it from him. Because literally, the only things that in that house that belong to individuals are the clothes that you came with from your house. 
you don't have right of individual use to anything else that was provided by the Big Brother team for the housemates. So I don't understand why Ilebaye decided that. Oh, and, and then she was also like, she just went quiet. I couldn't get that part where she was like, she was almost looking like a baby that is, you know, the, the last born of the house. She's really embodying that. But I don't know why she has to do it with um, Angel though, because Angel just in your house, it's maybe two years. Do you get, I don't even know if I'm correct, but Angel was really like the youngest person from her season with, um, what's this girl's name, Sasuke. So I'm not really understanding why she's doing that with Angel. I think she's spoken Angel. Omo ile baye. I'm thinking that she, like there's a whole lot going on with ile baye and she's doing a lot, but it is not coming out to the surface because of her age, right? Because people are like, she's harmless. That's what Venita called her, that she's a child in a, I'll be a toddler in a China shop, basically. Maybe that is what a lot of people see her as. But Angel is closer to her in age. Angel still be Zen Z. Do you get? So there is that Angel understands where things are coming from, or maybe she feels that Ileba is trying to use the cross narrative on her. And I think Angel is trying as much as possible not to have direct um, confrontation or even for that matter, anything that has to do with someone trying to poke or go behind doors or be windows or whatever to try to, you know, stroke her to start living in or leaning into that narrative. If Ilebaye's plan was to do that, I think it's actually triggered Angel, and she may have succeeded. But if her plan was not that, and just to not share, you know, the best spread because she felt that Cross has been using it, and uh, Angel does not have a right to, you know, now take it and not return to another person, it doesn't make any sense because the only time you can comfortably go and say, "Oh, let me take one of these duvets or tiny duvets," is when someone is not using it. If someone is using it, you can't go to the person and drag it off right? It would come off as offensive or even disrespectful as well. Plus, you don't even get the right to go drag him. Angel said she waited. She was literally, you know, monitoring him until she saw a window of opportunity and decided to carry it. It's not anybody's right, but at that point where someone is using it and they offer to share, just share it with the person. I also liked that she did not respond. Like she just spoke small and then kept quiet. Then after the wage attacks, they came back, they are doing their um, presentation. No, they are supposed to have a debate later on in the day. Big Brother has already given them the topics to work with and work on. So they are already in groups and they are working. The females are divided into two groups. The males are divided into two groups and they are working. So th the camera was not actually on them. It just came back. They were on, I think, Kidwaya or maybe Adekunle's group, um, Abi Perez's group. And then it flipped from there. And that was how I saw Ilebaye leaving. I heard Angel's voice because usually the voices of the people that it is being flipped to most of the times, you will hear it first before the camera actually shows the people's faces. So I heard Angel's voice loud and shouting. And then I, I turned my face and I'm like, Ilebaye was already leaving. So I couldn't get that part. But basically that's why uh, Angel was looking at the door because Ilebaye don't come out. <laughs> By the time Angel sparks, I don't even know what Ilebaye said before Angel did this second spark, because this was the second spark, actually. Let me know what you think in the comment section, okay? I know that you guys enjoy the updates. Love you guys so much, too. To everybody that has been commenting, giving the video thumbs up. I really, really appreciate you guys. You don't know what you're doing for me. Thank you. God bless you so much. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with another update so soon. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel.